Let's check in on some of the top calls of the day. We'll start with Tesla shares. They're dropping for a third day in a row. Today's news, Julie, is that a very well-known Tesla bull, that would be Adam Jonas from Morgan Stanley. Adam takes out the red pen and starts cutting. Yeah, does maintain his buy rating, we wanna stress yes. that, but does cut his price target, takes that down to 320, and tells his clients the company could report a loss this year based on gap accounting. EV demand slowing, he tells them. Companies are dumping their EVs. Hybrids competing for the marginal EV buyer, he says. And this coming, of course, is Tesla stock has, has really suffered a rough slide so far this year. We're down about 30% now. Yeah, it, I mean, you could argue even that Jonas is a little bit late to the party. I mean, a mm. lot of what he talks about in his note is stuff that other people who are not as sanguine on Tesla have been talking about in this market already. Um, one of the interesting points here, he says that Tesla's product is relatively aged. That it is, you know, that the other, while yeah. the other major automakers are sort of earlier in their cycles, which has been a disadvantage for them, at this point, he says, maybe Tesla's product is not as exciting. Um, and, you know, many analysts on the street are waiting, of course, for them to come out with their next mass market uh, automobile. So that's something to consider as well. He's also talking about the penetration of Tesla in the mature markets like California, for example, already. And he also, of course, talks about competition in China. Yeah. I mean, you read this note, it was it was so downbeat. You kind of felt like, why is he still overweight? He explains to his clients, listen, because I think it's an auto stock, but I also think it's an energy play, an AI play, a robotics play. So he's sticking with it, despite what he acknowledges is just overwhelmingly, he says, bearish sentiment at this point.